Good morning, Wham! All right, Wham. So, we're going to learn about the Battle of New Orleans. And what happens is the question is being who really won the War of 1812. And I know we heard in one video for James Madison when he was president, and a, a, a historian I respect said, like, um, the America definitely lost that war, the War of 1812. And I don't agree. I, uh, first of all, we did win the Battle of Fort McHenry in Baltimore, and the, the British left. But the other big one we won was the Battle of New Orleans. Um, and it's a weird battle. It created uh, the big hero, Andrew Jackson, but it also was weird because it was fought after the war. We'll read about that right now. It's the longest, longest okay. reading. The last battle. Do you know what the word irony means? Hint. It has nothing to do with metal and everything to do with Things not being as they seem to be. There was a big irony in the War of 1812. It was about a battle fought in New Orleans on January 8, 1815. Big battle. Big American victory. Big irony. The Americans lost 13 men at New Orleans. And about 60 were wounded. More than two thousand British soldiers were killed, wounded, or missing. The hero of that astounding battle was little known. He was the same general who had fought Osakala's people at Horseshoe Bend. His name was Andrew Jackson. So was the iron. A peace treaty had been signed a few days earlier in Europe, but the news hadn't reached New Orleans. No one knew the war was over. All those men on both sides, died fighting a war that was already history. That The war made Andrew Jackson a national hero. After the Battle of New Orleans, Americans sang the song. But Jackson, he was wide awake and wasn't scared of trifles. For well he knew what aim we take with our Kentucky rifles. So he led us down to Cypress Swamp. The ground was low and mucky. There stood John Bull in the Marshall Pond. But here was old Kentucky. All right, so what happened was they completely annihilated the British 2000 to 13. That's Crazy. that's a beat down. Uh, yeah, it's a very famous battle. And it really kind of evened out the war, in my opinion. I know they went to Washington, D.C. and burned the White House. But that 2000 to 13... Seems to even things out a bit, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. They destroyed their whole army, and they just sat there shooting at them. So it was a pretty bad uh, battle for, for the British. So I think that did even everything out. All right, that's just my opinion. You can write whatever opinion you want. Just prove it, and I'd totally accept either one. All right, have a good writing day. Bye-bye.